hello everyone and very warm welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you a very nifty innovative tool which is just a labor of work from one of the subscribers of this channel i'm very grateful that that person shared it with me and i am presenting you this ai powered podcast creation and optimization tool the idea is quite simple this tool really changes the way academic texts are transformed or any text is transformed which is written in the pdf format and it converts it into a podcast or in other words in an audio content what it does is it just exploits the ai and then it automates the podcast creation process with the help of llm at the moment it is using open ai based llm which means that it is a paid option you would have to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there and then you can use this on any pdf file to generate a podcast or an audio file but there are a few twists and real innovations in this system for example there is a self improving mechanism which optimizes prompt based on users feedback so that ensures continuous enhancement also the system's architecture is quite interesting and i will also be discussing it a bit before i move forward let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for i will also drop the link to their website in video's description let's go back to our ai powered podcast and let's try to get this installed on our local system and then we will see its architecture and other stuff and play around with it as you can see i am running ubuntu 22.04 let me clear the screen first up let me create a virtual environment with conda i'm just calling it with pd and using python 3.11 with it let's wait for it to get activated next up let's git clone the repo i will also drop the link to it in video description that is done and we are into this let's install all the requirements and the requirements are being installed so this is going to take a couple of minutes and meanwhile let me also introduce you to this hacktuber from mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video you don't need a gpu because we are using an api based llm but this hacktuber by mass compute is quite interesting if you want to win hundred dollars in free gpu credit you can send them your text based creation or uh, image based creation through ai and you stand a chance to win that okay so our prerequisites are done you see that how quick that is let me clear the screen next up let's set our open ai's api key for that simply run this let me set my key and uh, clear the screen and i have set my key next up make sure that you have node and npm installed so i have a recent version of node installed and also i have the npm installed now if you don't have it installed just search my channel i have done a step-by-step -step easy video as how to do that otherwise you can also check this repo um, the creator has also given the instruction as how to install it on windows or linux so it should be good it's very simple okay so let me clear the screen next up let me show you how you can run this software on your own pdf file from cli so for that all you need to do is from the root of this repo just run this python 3 source slash np audio.py and give the path to your pdf file so this is just a pdf file where i have just written one paragraph on my personal information as who i am where i live and all that stuff so let me run it and then we will see that how it converts it into a podcast or audio file so it is you see that it is summarizing the entire text it is generating the script enhancing script with 
playful banter in dialogue form. Let's wait for it to finish. It looks quite good. It is also giving us HTTP 200 codes. And that is all done. And you see that how quick that was. But one um, question, of course, as I have to give it that this is a this is using our API call to open AI. So that is a paid option. So make sure that you keep an eye on your credits. Uh, I'm already almost bankrupt, not due to this, but this could go out of hand fairly quickly because the larger your PDF files, the you know the most cost you are going to incur anyway. So let's go and check out this um, mp3 file which it has created here. So in this same file audios folder. So let me go there and then I'm just going to go to that directory quickly. And there you go. You see that there is an mp3 file and then there is a dialog txt file. So if I quickly open first this dialog file, so you see it is the host. It has just converted my PDF file into this dialogue host and guest that is the format of the podcast as you know and it just talks about me um, wow i mean this is such a self praise but anyway let me play this mp3 file so let me put it in the browser and then i will play it there should be fun just listen to this hello everyone Welcome to today's episode. I'm excited to introduce you to a remarkable figure who's making waves in the tech world, Fad Mirza. Thanks for having me, Sophos. I'm thrilled to be here. Have you ever found yourself wondering how AI and cloud technology are sculpting our future? Absolutely. It's like watching a painter transform a blank canvas into a masterpiece, one brushstroke at a time. That's a beautiful metaphor. Fad is right at the forefront of this transformation, isn't he? Yes, he specializes in AI and cloud engineering, which is essentially crafting and managing intelligent systems that help businesses not just survive, but thrive in the cloud. Picture this, a bustling city where every building is interconnected through a network of smart systems. Exactly. FOD's work ensures that those systems are reliable and cost-effective, allowing businesses to operate. So look, uh, of course, it's my own self praise. So I could listen to it for hours and hours and uh, keep enjoying it. But I'm sure that you won't be enjoying it as much. So anyway, suggesting a part, I think, you know, wonderful work. Not only it creates a podcast out of my just very vanilla PDF file, which I will show you again, but also just generate um, a very colorful ambience of dialogue around it, as I also showed you in that text file. So this, I guess, where is that? Okay, I think I closed it. But anyway, this was really, really amazing. And as I mentioned, you can also do it with the feedback. Let me show you that feedback stuff. So let me first clear the screen and let me now run it with the feedback loop. So let's run it. And you can even go back and forth with the timestamps, as I mentioned earlier. So you see it is just generating again script essence from the key points, enhancing the script with playful banter. This really just lifts it up, I guess. So let's wait for it. Almost there. And there you go. So you see it has generated this dialogue and now it is asking us, do you want to provide feedback? I'll just say, okay, let's see. Yes. Um, change the, maybe I'll just say, also include a bit about databases, just a random stuff. You see it is now optimizing the prompt based on feedback. And then another cool thing is that it is uh, the creator of this also took inspiration from another very cool project called as TextGrad, which I think I already have covered on the channel. So you see it is using that TextGrad backward engine for summarizer and GPT-40 mini is being used here. And that now it is just going through that, loading the po podcast state, which it already created and then looping through it. Good stuff. But again, um, be aware, this could 
you know consume a lot of api calls there so be aware of the cost again and the best option to not to get a bell shock is to just set a limit so that if just it goes over a certain limit it is going to beep you so i have set some limit and hopefully it won't cross that And there you go, you see that it has optimized, cleaned and formatted the system prompt for enhancer and it has saved here in this prompt history. So if I go to this directory again, go back to podcast prompt history and you will see that it has uh, created this enhancer and all that stuff. How good is that? So for example, if I just open this one, it has just created this prompt. Amazing stuff. Very nice. Okay, so another thing which you can do with it, if you don't like CLI, you can even uh, do a web interface. For that, you would just need to create a front end and a back end. Let me also show you how to do that. So in order to start the back end first, which is of course the customary, all you need to do is to run this uh, uvcon command that is going to start your back end. And for front end, you would just need to go to front end directory and then from all you would need to do is to just do npm start and then you can access it at port 3000. Uh, but I prefer it to be used on the CLI, it makes it so easy and you know what is going on uh, and it's the same experience. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this tool. Uh, share your opinion in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.